Have you ever watched a video and you noticed that maybe the color in the video was off, sometimes very noticeably? Well, that is usually from something called bad white balancing. And I'm going to talk to you about what that is today. Now, when you white balance a video, you're basically telling the camera or the software that you're using what white is supposed to be in the frame. So you might use something like this, which is a white balancing, uh, well this is a disc, but they come in cards, they come in black, 18% gray, or white, or all three like this usually. Now what that does is that allows you to set in the camera or in post-processing what is the correct colors. So if I held this up and the white seemed a bit green, then that would mean that the color balancing was off and the whole video would appear somewhat green. And you've actually probably seen that in one of my videos where I was off with the color balancing and it looked off. So that's what something like this comes in handy with. You can use that in post-processing. You just click on this and tell the program this is white and then it sets everything else correctly. You can also use something like this which goes right over the lens and basically what this does is takes in all the light in the scene and basically puts it as like one flat image of just one color and puts it into the sensors and then you set that as white because then that should be pretty close to light but white but a little bit off. So for example when I did that for this video it was a bit green so I told the camera this should be white so it adjusted that to be white and then everything else appeared the correct color. Now different types of lights actually produce different colors. Now you might think that they all look white but that's not the case because our brain basically takes whatever the brightest color is in the scene and thinks that that's white. That's actually the basis of a lot of optical illusions. So we don't have to color balance in our brains, it does it automatically, but a camera doesn't know how to do that. So for example, fluorescent lights, which I use, show up very slightly green, which is why in a few of my videos they looked a little bit green because I didn't do the color balancing right. And incandescents appear a bit orange. And daylight is actually pretty close to white exactly. So that's basically what color balancing is in a nutshell. It's just getting the accurate colors and exactly what white is supposed to look like in the scene compared to what the camera is getting. Hope you found this one interesting and be sure to like the video, leave your comments maybe if you thought this was helpful. I don't know how many of you have been making videos, maybe you find this useful hopefully because I know that it took me a while to figure out how to do it right. I recommend getting a white balancing card. Uh, maybe I'll link in the description to some ones I recommend. I only have used this one or maybe some of these filters like I've talked about that go over the camera lens. So as usual, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. I interact with people on there all the time. See ya.